Hello, hello guys, it's uh, Jason Cameron here. Um, hope you're hope you're doing well. I uh, just wanted to do this um, ICO review for Vest. Um, I do this uh, ICO review on the historic day that we have of Bitcoin breaking the uh, 10k uh, price barrier. So, um, which is a major milestone. I think Bitcoin has had a fantastic year. Um, I certainly wasn't expecting it. So, um, it's all of us that's holding um, Bitcoin. Cheers. So, um, so yeah. So let's get into this. This is a sort of a more of a um, uh, objective view of it. Like, what is Vest? We'll explore the project, what it's about, just a few of the details. And in another video, I'll share my investment analysis and my opinion on it as well. So, um, this is a financial advice, guys. Do your own research, invest in your own risk. Um, not your financial advisor. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just showing my opinion here, guys. Um, it's more of an exploratory video. So let's have a look at Vest. So Vest um, effectively is a marketplace where you can effectively buy rights in songs and share from its royalties as well. So uh, from an idea perspective, it's a huge idea. Um, if you see here, what is Vest? Vest lets music fans share ownership with artists in, in their favourite songs. Vest is a revolutionary new platform that gives artists and right holders control over their, over their new or existing songs that allows them to easily capitalise on their work by choosing portions of their songs for sale to fans, friends, right buyers and brands. The Vest platform employs blockchain technology to track and collect royalty income transparently. Vest offers a true marketplace for songs and gives artists the opportunity to make a living and continue to do what they love most to make music. So what I like about it is it's, it's a major dis disruptor to the music industry. I think it's taking, um, it's um, helping, um, sorry, got my through there, helping, um, artists sort of get their music out and they get funded without having to go to the bank of record labels which is pretty cool because record labels obviously are very picky and um, even the most talented artists don't get a sh don't get a shout out sometimes as you can see from the likes of America Britain's got talent um, but this platform enables them to say look hear my music guys help me launch it you get a stake of it and I think that's um, that's a brilliant thing so so um, just to cover a few things also, the ICO started, sorry, um, let's have a look here, on the 4th of November, it ends this Friday, 1st of December, um, they've raised, um, I think about one and a half, um, previously to that they raised 250 grand VC funding, which I believe is for equity, and they also had a private sale, which raised about 3.5 mil, um, with a mixture of equity and tokens from what I understand, so... So, so far, it's the progress that they've made um, on the uh, public sale. So, um, who's behind Vest? Let's have a look. Go to the roadmap, roadmap in a minute. Uh, Vest, Vest, Vest. Okay, cool. So, <coughs> CEO, guy called Stuart, Steve Stewart. So, quick read. More than 25 years, professional experience in music and new media industry. CEO of Steve Stewart Management. He negotiated secure a lucrative major record label and publishing contracts on behalf of approximately 20 recorded artists. With these companies, Sony, Warner Brothers, Atlantic, Capital, Disney, Hollywood. Okay. Steve is a former personal manager of Grammy Award winning multi platinum alternative rock band Stone Temple Pilots, managing their career from their inception through to their fifth major label release on Atlantic Records. So, under Steve's management, the brand's worldwide record sales exceeded 25 million. Records generated more than half a million in gross revenues. Cool. He also co founded CEO titles in business marketing aggregator GoYodel and sports social video app Sports Buddy. Blah, 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 blah. Cool. All right. CFO Robert Menendez with more than 15 years management experience. Okay. So his expertise in developing business and the investment platforms for long-term growth. Cool. Uh, prior to this, Menisco founded Crowdcast app. Circus currently valued at 330 mil. 
managed all facets of operations at Nubex Advisors LLC. Okay, successfully created fiscal synergy for investors by coordinating algorithmic trading teams primarily made for programmers and developers management accounts. Okay, cool. So, yeah, you guys can read the rest of this when you get time. Um, so, what the CEO and what I like to look at. So, Josh Spiff. This CTO, there's not much. Okay, he's LinkedIn. Okay, here we go. So, who is Josh Smith? Okay, CTO of Nova Media interface with large brands. On mobile video platforms, cutting edge data science and mobile implementation initiatives, manage an extensive team. Some of the best engineers and developers in the nation and help our portfolio clients create truly solid products that generate significant business value. Uh, have they got their customers there? No. Just want to see a little bit more to show you guys a little bit more about this guy, what companies are part of, featured work. Okay. Okay, here we go. So we've done great work for industry leaders in the corporate entertainment, gaming, political, and e commerce industry. So these are kind of companies that this company has done work for. Um, which is always good to see. Okay, cool. CTO. So you got the VP of marketing. So these are the guys that are um, involved in the project. Um, I won't go into them too much in this video. The way I'm a video, I'll, I'll take a deeper look at some of these guys. So they've got a lot of legal advisors. Um, and this looks like they've got people in places that are relevant to industry. So you've got head of AR, you've got CVP of artist relations, so um, here VP of marketing, which is um, good to see. Okay, so this, so this team looks pretty stacked out. Um, advisors, co founder of Ethereum, Steven Nerayoff, and then you've got this gym dude. I don't remember Waltz or Spring, okay, but it's probably artists that they've been handled before. Okay. Polo Molina, manager of Will I Am, Fergie of Black Eyed Peas. Okay. Oh, we've got co founder of Wattage there. Cool. So the advisors look pretty strong. It's Jonathan Dude as an investment partner. Okay. Just curious, who's Jonathan Guy? Binary Capital, okay. It's probably the guys that they got their VC funding from. But anyway, you guys can look into that if you wanted to explore that a bit more. Right, so, so it looks like they've got a pretty stacked out team. Have Do they have a product yet? From looks of it, no. Um, looks like they do have some mock-ups and stuff, which they showed in this video here, but they don't have a public product that we can look at. Okay, so, and if we look at the roadmap as well, uh, where is the roadmap? Okay, here we go. So, if there's not a product out, so at the moment they're developing the back end, so it's effectively developing the product at the moment, So th this quarter, looking to onboard some artists to get the MVP out. Uh, if you don't know what MVP is, guys, it's a bit of a viable product, which is cool. And then Q1, they've got the beta launch, and then Q2, full release. That's pretty aggressive to get the full release out by 
uh, Q2 next year. That's pretty quick. We'll be interested to see if they actually deliver on that. So information that I do know that's not on the website is that they, okay, so they raised 3.5 million for private sale. And the, the, the debate was whether or not they'll get a lockup period. Initially, there wasn't a lockup period on the private sale participants. They did get a huge discount. Um, from what I worked out, some are even up to 250%, which is huge. And um, obviously, it's caused a concern for the community, which I totally agree. Um, but they are working on the lockup. I think three million has been agreed to be locked up so far now, from what I, from what I read. And um, I think it's between six to 12 months, um, I, I think, from um, what I remember which is um, a good sign and um, the tokens that are not sold will be burned guys um, so that's important information um, and I believe that kind of explains the project so um, so in my next video I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share my, my, my sort of investment analysis on it while I think about it but that's the project in a nutshell um, is what it does um, ICO ends um, in a couple of days from this video but that's Friday the 1st of December and um, any questions um, that you want to share, then feel free to drop a comment below. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, appreciate you taking the time out to watch this. Um, tap that like button for me uh, and tap that subscribe button for me. Um, if you do like this stuff, let me know that you like it. We'll to do more of it. Um, if you don't do that, then I don't know. It kind of tells me you don't like it. You don't want, want more of it. But if you don't like it, hit that un dislike button, that unlike button. Um, so I kind of know that as well. So, um, but no, but do tap the like button, tap the subscribe button. And um, I will also be releasing, guys, a free report um, which shares the ICOs that I've reviewed, graded. Um, I graded from A, B plus B, B minus C. Um, and um, that will sort of tell you what I've looked at, uh, what I've graded them, and, um, and why. That'll be updated on a weekly basis. That'll be totally free for you guys. So um, look out for that. Um, it may be the link when this video goes up. If it's not, it will be the link shortly after. Uh, any questions, guys, let me know. Uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.